Hi everyone, this video is to show you how to measure the AC power using the Elvis tool, multi sim and oscilloscope. So let's say you have this kind of circuit, right? Okay, then you're going to check the AC power here. Okay, so first we're going to check is it our connection is correct before we go to the circuit. Okay, let's say we have example something like this. Okay, so the oscilloscope is here, then our AC power we direct connect to oscilloscope and we check the AC power and the frequency as well. The voltage peak, the mean VP, and we peak to peak. Okay, so you can see that here is like the V peak right is on the positive side and the negative side here. Okay, V peak to peak is the overall of like double of V peak. Okay, so that means two times of V peak. Okay, so we know that something here. So let's say we have like V peak to peak is equal to V okay then this is in multi sim we can do this we can just uh, create a ac power then we connect to oscilloscope but in real world we of course we have a function generator to connect it to oscilloscope then we can view it the ac voltage that create from function generator okay let's go to the multi sim then we have a look okay here is the multi sim so let's say we create ac power you can just click anywhere here and power source AC then we press OK then we put it here then done then we will put our oscilloscope you can get it from here okay the testronic oscilloscope or you can find it from here simulate instrument go to the testronic oscilloscope okay now let's connect the positive to the channel one okay negative to ground okay then we can double click on the AC power, then we set our RMS voltage to 0 0.707. That means it's 0 0.707 VRMS. Okay. And the frequency is 3 kHz. Okay. Then done. Okay. How are you going to check our results correct or not? Let's try it. We run it. Okay. Then we double click on the oscilloscope. Then we'll put something like this. Then we just like turn on it, turn on the power. Then you can see they are moving, okay, because they are measuring. So we can just click on single, okay, single measurement, and then we stop it, okay, we pause it, and then we just turn this one for like zoom in, okay, and this this one will be the voltage division, okay. Then we can just set like okay, now we set something like this to view the signal, and we click on measure here, okay, so. We're going to set something like this. How we're going to check like 3 kilohertz? Is it 3 kilohertz? You can see 3 kilohertz here, peak to peak, and RMS, and the, the voltage peak result for maximum. That means here. Okay, the maximum here. Okay, so first we, ju we just click on measure, then we click on channel 1, then we choose like type. We can set like all frequency. Okay, done. Then we have frequency here. Then we measure another one from channel 1, then we choose like the type we can set like period so that if you want over the 333 microsecond right so actually we'll get like 3 kilohertz and then this mean this is peak to peak okay done we have the peak to peak here then now we know our vpp is 2 volt and another one will be vrms okay so now we have like 0 0.707 right so it's almost similar 0. Point, it's really milli so it's like 0 0.706 here okay then how about the V peak? Then we can check like V maximum. This is minimum. Okay, that means the bottom here. Okay, so this is uh, V maximum. Okay, so if you can see like something the V mean right, minimum. Okay, so if we mean minimum and the maximum right, you can see actually it's like two word something like here what we mentioned. If here is like one word, here is like one word. The V peak to P is two word. Okay, so we also can use like cursor. So when you turn on cursor, you just turn like voltage, and then you can choose like cursor one. Okay, and then you just turn on here. Okay, so let's say this one is cursor one. You can just turn up. Okay, and then cursor two, you will be this. Okay, so you can see it's like one word and one word. Actually, it's like two word. Okay, then we go to measure back. 
Okay, so now we have our peak to peak is two word and our channel one, our voltage peak will be one word and one word. Okay, so our RMS is 706 milliwatt and three kilohertz. So it's same as our input that we generate from here. Okay, and then we stop it. Okay, then how are we going to know our V peak to peak is two word and our VP is one word? So we can use the formula here is like, okay, we know that our what we set from here, okay, the V RMS that we set is equal to 0, 7, 0. Okay, so our formula for to find the VP is equal to 1 square root 2 times we, we pick. So we pick will be square root 2 times with 0 0.707. So we will get roughly like one word. Okay. Then we also know that we pick to pick is two times of we pick. That means two times with one word is equal to two word for we pick to pick. Okay. If you want to use VRMS to find the we pick to pick, you say you can use this formula as well. That means you will have VPP equal to 2 times with square root 2 times with 0 0.707 then you will get near to like 2 word okay so this is how you get your answer from like pick to pick and vrms and your vp okay then how about oscilloscope how are we going to set the function function generator for oscilloscope okay so i will show you the connection in multi -sim. Let's go to Multisim here, then we do it the same thing. Okay, we just choose the function generator here. If you can't find it, you can just go to simulation, instrument, then function generator. Yes, so this is the function generator. Okay, then we create another scope. Okay, so another scope here. Okay, then we connect just like positive to port 1 and the ground to the com. Okay. Then we, of course, we need to set our function generator input and output. Okay, so now we only have peak here. Okay, uh, that means we voltage peak. Okay, then, so we know our voltage peak for 707 will be 1 volt. Okay, then we set 1 volt. Okay, let's try it. 1 volt here. And then the frequency will be 3 kilo so we can set from here three kilo okay after done then we just run it and we double click on the scope okay then we just turn on it's the same thing we just like get a single data and then we pause it then we turn this one for like okay make it zoom in and this one is this okay and we click on measure we do back the same thing first of course we check the frequency it's okay is 3 kilohertz it's the same from here and we check for the vrms okay pick to pick first then vrms okay 707 so our peak is one voltage peak right so for peak to peak will be two watt because two time of we pick then our maximum and minimum so we can click on here Okay, this is the minimum and we just choose for the maximum okay in measurement of course we will use a function generator to create the ac power and the scope to check the data to check our result okay so oops okay okay so done so we can set the cursor like this now so let's say we set that voltage so let's say I choose this one. I put on the top here to make sure. Okay, somewhere here. Okay, and then this one will be here. Okay, so we actually get like almost like two words as well. Okay, so then this is uh, how we are going to measure using the function generator and also scope. And this one is like ideal we doing in simulation, but in measurement we will do it like this. Okay, for Elvis, how are we going to set for Elvis? That means something for this. Elvis is an NI instrument like this. Okay, how are we going to check uh, using function generator and the oscilloscope in Elvis? Okay, so first, 
you will go to the software here okay you can just turn on the function generator and the oscilloscope so now you have your scope and function generator like this so it exactly looks like something like this okay both okay so function generator here you will connect to the instrument okay then you run it and you change the frequency here to 3 kilohertz same uh, follow your SSI and let's say your amplitude but here only you can set the amplitude right so you know that your V peak to peak is toward so no matter they give you VIMS or V peak to peak or V peak right so you will know the formula then actually you can calculate it okay then you just change to 2 peak to peak and this one 3 kilohertz after that you run it okay and the scope here you can choose like you can use scope uh, channel 0 or for your case you will use like 1 0 this something like here okay analog input 0 that means you will use analog input 0 plus minus if you use analog input 1 right then here you can just like drop down here and choose the analog which analog that you use from here this side okay if you use the scope that means you need to connect the scope here channel 0 okay that means you will put your probe to connect to the the oscilloscope here okay so i'm going to show you how to do the connection for how to connect the function generator and the oscilloscope so first we're going to do something like this uh, ignore the table here okay what we need is the ground that means something like this okay, so you ignore this one this one is supply positive that means this one we no need the power supply from here so you ignore this connection just connect this one to the ground that means the ground here okay so i will show you the connection so this one the ground will connect just connect to the negative here okay then the whole row here right will be negative so something like this so okay now this the negative whole row here is negative then we zoom into here we need to put like function generator okay so we just click i will show you like how it how it works okay function generator so we will connect one wire here okay uh either each any point of here so you connect let's say this one function generator to the positive input here okay then next will be okay one now we have the positive is this positive row and the negative will be negative row here and we will connect the output for the scope that means right our function generator will go to the input for the scope analog input here okay so let's say we choose this one okay we choose for like zero one uh analog input zero okay so we connect the input to positive and we connect the negative to negative here okay so then we done the connection right so roughly everything will be like this the negative ground here will connect to the negative and the positive will connect to the function gen okay then we can view the result from here we just run it okay then we have like the p to pick here and the frequency that we set the scope you need to remember to change drop down this to a01 uh analog input zero okay then you can just run it you can adjust the voltage division here scaling and also the time division to zoom in the result okay okay so that's all for how to measure the AC power using Elvis 2, multi-sim and oscilloscope. Okay, thanks to you guys.